See, I find my, my, my way The wings of power A heart of gold A new beginning and a story, story to tell The city pulsed with electric light. Towers pierced the sky, reaching for the stars. This was the world of Mr. Happiness. His laughter echoed through the neon canyons, his smile a beacon in the urban glow. Mr. Happiness was a man of the people, a heart for the city. He spent his days spreading joy, a tireless worker for hope. From the highest skyscraper to the smallest alleyway, his presence was a gift. He brought laughter to weary souls, ignited sparks of wonder in jaded eyes. Mr. Happiness understood the city's rhythm, its heartbeat, but Mr. Happiness felt a new pull, a whisper from beyond, something vast and unknown called to him. The stars, once distant specks, now felt like promises. His purpose, he realized, extended beyond the city limits. It soared into the infinite expanse of the cosmos.
A new century was dawning. Humanity stood on the precipice of a magnificent future. Technology had shattered earthly constraints. Space, once an unbreachable barrier, was now an open door, and Mr. Happiness knew he was destined to step through it. The world felt different now, charged with anticipation, a collective breath held, waiting to be released. Mr. Happiness felt it too, the electric hum of change in his soul. His purpose was evolving, aligning with the stars. He looked out over his beloved city, a million flickering lights below. Gratitude welled within him. This place, these people, had been his heart's work. But the universe beckoned, vast and unknown. He was ready to answer its call. Mr. Happiness stood on the precipice of change, his silhouette a beacon against the glowing skyline. His suit, a marvel of futuristic design, shimmered under the neon sky. It was tailored for adventure for the unknown. This wasn't just clothing, it was a second skin, a symbol of his transformation. And then there were the wings, metallic feathers, light as air, yet impossibly strong, unfolded behind him. They shimmered with an inner luminescence, pulsing with the city's energy. These wings were his passport to the stars, his ticket to destiny. Mr. Happiness took a deep breath, the city's electric energy surging through him. He was a conduit, a beacon of hope. And now his light was about to touch the universe. His wings catching the wind lifted him into the night. The stars, it seemed, were reaching back. Mr. Happiness stood at the edge of the rooftop. The wind whipped at his suit, a symphony of progress and possibility. Below him, the city hummed with life, oblivious to the momentous leap about to unfold. He closed his eyes, feeling the pulse of a million dreams beneath his feet. Then, with a grace that defied gravity, he leaned forward. There was no fear, no hesitation, only the certainty of a destiny waiting to be claimed. The wings catching the updraft unfurled to their full majestic span. They shimmered, a radiant halo against the urban glow. The city fell away, a swirling vortex of light and shadow. Mr. Happiness felt a thrill course through him, not of fear, but of exhilaration. This was it, the moment of no return, the leap of faith that separated the earthbound from the starbound. He soared above the cityscape, a beacon of hope against the twilight sky. Buildings shrunk to miniature models, streets transformed into ribbons of light. The cacophony of the city faded, replaced by the whisper of the wind and the thrum of his wings. He looked down at the world he was leaving behind, feeling a pang of bittersweet farewell. But it was not goodbye, he knew, but a transformation. He carried the heart of the city with him, its dreams woven into the fabric of his being. As he climbed higher, the air grew thinner, crisper. He felt the pull of the cosmos, a magnetic force drawing him upward. The stars, once distant pinpoints, now blazed with a fierce, inviting light. He was rising to meet them, an emissary of joy to the universe. The city, now a distant glow, receded below the horizon. Above, the sky deepened from twilight blue to the velvety blackness of space. Stars, countless and brilliant, blazed with an intensity unseen from Earth. Mr. Happiness felt a sense of awe, of profound insignificance and boundless possibility. He was no longer just a man, but a speck of consciousness against the infinite canvas of the cosmos. And yet he felt strangely significant, a vital thread in the grand tapestry of existence. He had a purpose, a destiny written in the language of starlight. He felt it then, a subtle shift in the cosmic energy around him, a pull, gentle yet inexorable, drawing him towards a specific point in the star-dusted darkness. The universe was calling and Mr. Happiness, wings spread wide, was ready to answer. The atmosphere thinned, darkness deepened. Mr. Happiness felt the familiar tug of gravity lessen its grip. He was on the threshold of infinity, the gateway to a realm where few had dared to venture. Behind him, the earth dwindled, a vibrant sphere of blue and green, a reminder of the home he was leaving behind. Ahead, the stars blazed with a brilliance that stole his breath away. They were no longer distant pinpoints of light, but colossal furnaces of energy, each one a testament to the universe's boundless creativity. He felt a shiver of awe, a humbling awareness of his own smallness against this backdrop of cosmic grandeur. 
He spread his wings wide, feeling the subtle shift in pressure as he crossed the invisible boundary between atmosphere and vacuum. His suit, a masterpiece of future tech, hummed with quiet efficiency, maintaining his life support systems in the hostile environment of space. Celestial Ballet, his wings, no longer needing to fight against gravity's pull, moved with a newfound fluidity. He soared through the void, a celestial dancer moving to a symphony of cosmic energy, planets each a unique masterpiece of colour and texture wheeled in the distance, their orbits a silent ballet conducted by the unseen hand of gravity. He flew past shimmering asteroid fields, remnants of ancient cosmic collisions, each rock a potential treasure trove of scientific discovery. Nebulae, vast clouds of interstellar gas and dust, painted the cosmos with ethereal hues of pink, purple and gold, their beauty a testament to the creative forces at play in the universe. He marvelled at the sheer scale of it all, the mind-boggling distances, the unimaginable timescales. Here, in the heart of the cosmos, the petty concerns of humanity seemed to fade into insignificance. He felt a sense of liberation, a profound connection to something far greater than himself. Whispers of the Universe As he journeyed deeper into space, he became aware of a subtle hum, a vibration that seemed to resonate within his very being. It was the music of the universe, the symphony of creation playing out across unimaginable distances. He felt his own energy aligning with it, his heartbeat sinking with the pulse of the cosmos. He sensed the whispers of distant stars, the echoes of ancient supernovae, the murmurings of galaxies colliding in fiery embraces. The universe, he realized, was not a silent void, but a vibrant tapestry of energy and information, a symphony of creation playing out across eons. And within that symphony, he heard his own melody, a unique thread of purpose woven into the grand fabric of existence. He was meant to be here, a bringer of joy to this vast and awe-inspiring universe. His journey had just begun, and the stars themselves were his guide. Beacon in the void. The universe unfolded before him, a tapestry woven with starlight and shadow. Mr. Happiness, a solitary figure against the cosmic canvas, felt the thrill of exploration course through him. He had journeyed beyond the familiar, beyond the maps and the charts, into a realm where every star was a beckoning mystery. And then he saw it, a disturbance in the star field, a point where the very fabric of space seemed to shimmer and distort. It pulsed with a light unlike anything he had ever witnessed, a kaleidoscope of colours shifting and swirling as if a rainbow had exploded across the cosmos. It was a portal, he realised, a rift in the space-time continuum, a gateway to somewhere else, someone else. He felt a tremor of anticipation, a sense of standing on the precipice of something truly extraordinary. The universe, it seemed, was full of surprises, hidden pathways and secret passages, if one only knew where to look. He approached the portal cautiously, awed by its raw power. The colours swirled and danced, hypnotic in their intensity. He felt a strange pull, a gravitational tug that seemed to emanate from the very heart of the anomaly. It wasn't a physical force, he realised, but something more profound, a call, an invitation. He paused at the threshold, his wings beating a steady rhythm against the cosmic vacuum. He could feel the energy of the portal swirling around him, probing, testing. It was like nothing he had ever encountered, a raw, untamed power that hummed with the potential for creation and destruction. He knew he could turn back, return to the familiar comfort of the cosmos, he knew. But something within him, a thirst for adventure, a yearning for the unknown, urged him forward. The portal beckoned, a shimmering promise of a new century, a new beginning, and Mr. Happiness, ever the optimist, was ready to embrace the unknown. Taking a deep breath, he steeled himself and plunged into the swirling vortex of light. For a moment, the universe seemed to turn inside out. Colours bled into one another, stars streaked past in a dizzying blur. He felt a sense of weightlessness, of being unmoored from time and space as if he were adrift in a sea of pure energy. And then, as quickly as it began, the chaos subsided. 
He found himself bathed in a warm, golden light, a sense of peace washing over him. The portal now behind him shimmered like a distant memory, a dream fading with the dawn. He had crossed the threshold, stepped through the looking glass and emerged into a new reality. As his senses adjusted, he looked around, eager to discover what awaited him on the other side of the portal. The air shimmered with a strange energy, charged with potential. He took a step forward, his boots crunching on what appeared to be grass. He had traded the infinite void for something solid, something real. He had entered a new century, a new world, and he couldn't wait to explore it all. The light of the portal faded, leaving Mr. Happiness standing on firm ground. He looked around, his senses overwhelmed by the transformation. Gone was the stark, cold vacuum of space, the infinite expanse of stars and darkness. He stood in a landscape bathed in warm, golden sunlight, a gentle breeze rustling through fields of emerald green. He felt a strange lightness, a shedding of the weight of the old century. His suit, once a symbol of technological prowess, now felt like a second skin, pulsing with the energy of this new world. His wings, no longer needed for flight in the vacuum of space, thrummed with a different kind of power, a vibrant energy that resonated with the very air he breathed. He took a deep breath, the air sweet and clean, and felt a surge of vitality course through him. It was as if the portal had not just transported him across space and time, but had also stripped away the burdens of the past, leaving him renewed, reborn into a future ripe with possibilities. As he ventured further into this new world, he became aware of a subtle harmony, a symphony of nature and technology intertwined. Trees reached for the sky, their leaves shimmering with bioluminescent patterns, while sleek silver airships glided silently overhead, powered by the wind and the sun. Waterfalls cascaded from towering cliffs, their energy harnessed to power, crystal clear cities that seemed to grow organically from the landscape. The people he encountered, their faces lit with smiles, moved with a grace and purpose that spoke of a deep connection to their surroundings. He realized that this was a future where humanity had learned from the mistakes of the past. A future where technology and nature existed in perfect balance, each enhancing the other. It was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the enduring power of hope and innovation. As he interacted with the people of this new century, he realized that his role as Mr. Happiness had taken on a new dimension. He was no longer just a bringer of joy, but a symbol of the transformative power of hope, a living embodiment of the potential that lay dormant within every human heart. Children, their eyes wide with wonder, flocked to him, drawn to the radiant light that emanated from his being. Adults, their faces etched with the wisdom of experience, greeted him with a respect that bordered on reverence. He was a beacon, a reminder that even in the darkest of times, the human spirit could find a way to create a brighter future. He knew that his journey was far from over. This new century, for all its beauty and promise, was not without its challenges. But he was ready, armed with the lessons of the past and the hope of the future, to face whatever lay ahead. He was Mr. Happiness and he would continue to spread his message of joy, one smile, one act of kindness, one moment of connection at a time. Mr. Happiness stepped from the fading glow of the portal and into the heart of a city unlike any he had ever known. Towers of shimmering crystal touched the sky, reflecting the warm sunlight in a thousand dazzling hues. Buildings seemed to breathe, their facades pulsing with living light, organic and ethereal. Laughter echoed through the wide open streets, a symphony of pure joy that resonated deep within him. Children, their eyes bright with wonder, chased holographic butterflies through parks that bloomed with impossible colors. This was a city alive with joy, a testament to the boundless potential of the human spirit. Mr. Happiness paused taking it all in, his heart brimming with a joy so profound it threatened to spill over. The air hummed with a palpable energy, a current of shared optimism that connected everyone and everything. It was intoxicating, this sense of collective purpose, of shared dreams given form.
He had arrived in a future where humanity had moved beyond the divisions of the past, a future where differences were celebrated and unity was the guiding principle. He saw humans of every shade and background working together, their faces alight with shared purpose. Technology, once a source of division and distraction, was now seamlessly woven into the fabric of life, enhancing human connection rather than hindering it. People moved with an easy grace, their bodies augmented in subtle ways, their movements fluid and effortless. But it was the look in their eyes that struck Mr. Happiness most deeply. A look of quiet confidence, of inner peace, that spoke of a profound sense of belonging. This was a society that valued compassion, creativity and collaboration. A society where every individual felt seen, heard and valued. Mr. Happiness, his own heart overflowing with gratitude, knew instantly that his mission in this new century had already begun. He was a seed planted in fertile ground, his very presence a catalyst for even greater joy, a reminder of the boundless possibilities that lay dormant within every human heart. He walked among the people, his laughter echoing like a beacon, drawing smiles wherever he went. He shared stories of his journey through the cosmos, his words sparking imaginations and igniting a thirst for exploration in the hearts of young and old alike. He saw the seeds of joy he planted take root and grow, blossoming into acts of kindness, gestures of love and waves of laughter that rippled outward, touching countless lives. He was a gardener, tending to a garden of hope, nurturing the seeds of a brighter future, one smile at a time. Mr. Happiness, a figure radiating boundless joy, stood for a moment longer in the heart of the city. He felt the pulse of its energy, the symphony of its laughter, and knew in his heart that this place, this future, was in good hands. His work here for now was done. The cosmos beckoned, its infinite expanse whispering tales of wonders yet unseen. With a final lingering look at the city of light and laughter, Mr. Happiness spread his wings. They caught the warm golden sunlight shimmering with a thousand iridescent hues. He rose into the air, a beacon of joy against the backdrop of crystal towers and verdant parks. He soared above the cityscape, feeling the familiar thrill of flight course through him. But this time it was different. There was a newfound lightness in his being, a sense of purpose that extended beyond the boundaries of this world. He was a cosmic voyager, a citizen of the universe, and his journey had only just begun. He set his sights on the stars, a dazzling tapestry of light against the endless canvas of space. Each pinpoint of light he knew held the potential for new discoveries, new connections, new expressions of joy. With a joyful laugh that echoed through the cosmos, Mr. Happiness set off into the unknown, his heart filled with the promise of an endless journey.